Hey, what's up guys? How is everyone doing? Um, I want to make a quick guide here because I've seen a lot of players, especially new players, wondering what kind of stats should they have? Uh, what is the build I'm using? Like, why am I rocking all of these? And uh, I want to quickly go through like a simple explanation as to what you should be looking for when making a build. So far, like this is my only character and yes, I'm still level 41. Uh, why is that? Because I feel like there's no rush to level further right now. Uh, most of the activity is at, at lower level as people have not gone through the game uh, yet. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm gradually going to up my level a little bit and then upgrade my weapon accordingly. But right now what you're looking at, at basically is <clears throat> what I really always used as a template to make like any build really. So... The way you go about making like say a quality build for instance you always want to spread your stats a, a bit in the same way that i'm doing right now so you want to go for first of all closer to 18 strength and uh, 18 decks so usually 18 and 18 18 strength and 18 decks are usually general requirements for a lot of weapons so having 18 strength and 18 decks um, is usually a priority with a, a quality build you also want to level up your Vigor um, while you're leveling up those 18 Dex and 18 Strength. Uh, so you want to level up your Vigor to match it and until you reach a point where you have 18 Dex, 18 Strength and you can start to put your Vigor to around a bit more in the 20 plus range. And then the next step is to get your Strength to 26 as 26 is a soft cap for two-handing a lot of weapons. So having 26 Strength at lower level is definitely a good idea. And um, 27 Vigor used to be a soft cap. I don't think it is a soft cap, any, a soft cap anymore, but um, always have your Vigor around the amount of, uh, around the highest point uh, you have in, in, um, in an offensive stat. So here, like we have 26 strength, having around that same amount of Vigor usually is a good idea at lower levels. And so that's what we have right now. And as far as the other stats goes, I have intelligence to 12 and the reason for it is that I use this scholar armament spell right here, right? I use this scholar armament spell on my build to pretty much buff any weapon so it gives me some extra damage. So that bit right here like will uh, will boost up my damage to uh let's actually see the difference. So um if we two hand our weapon here um I forgot how to check the damage. Oh, there you go. Okay, so we get uh, 294, right? With the two-handed Claymore. And if we buff it, two-handed, of course. If we buff it, we can see the damage goes to 382. So, not too bad. Obviously, you could be using um, consumables. To be honest, this is probably what I would do if I had to respec. I would use Fire Grease instead. Or Magic Grease or whatnot. But... Because I invade a lot, I don't have to farm for these, so it's very convenient for me to just use the magic buff. So uh, that's one thing. Also, what's cool is that when you have a buff applied on your weapon like that, first of all, it looks cool when you're moving with the little trail effect. But you can really apply it to any weapon, uh, so that's definitely an advantage there. So you can pretty much afford to have any weapon buffed and, and use... Uh, any weapon you have available in your inventory. And that goes to another um, another point I like about uh, like staying a bit more lower level um, uh, here like uh, at this stage of the game because you have a better opportunity to upgrade less weapons. So, or you can, you have a better opportunity to upgrade more weapons for less. So here my I decided to go to plus 8 and the reason I decided to go to plus 8 was because I was given uh, this uh, uh, Rajir Magic Rapier plus 8 by an NPC and because we we know from previous games that the matchmaking is affected or affe like having a weapon high, like with high upgrade usually affects your matchmaking and so usually you can only um, invade at the highest um, weapon upgrade you have and so I decided to go plus 8 on all weapons so all my weapons are plus 8 or almost um, I'm gonna be trying to fully upgrade like say the mace here in a little bit as well as the hatchet 
But basically, I'm just uh, leveling up some weapons to plus 8, and that gives me a an opportunity to try many things. So, in various streams, <clears throat> for those of you who watch the streams, you will probably have seen that recently we've played a lot with the dual rapiers and had a ton of fun with these. Um, there's so many, like, cool combination of attacks you can do, like, it's so fast, too. Uh, that's really what's cool about a build like this. We've played with the obviously the curve sword a bit. We played with the quick the blood step Zway, which I know I remove blood step off it, and uh, we played with the claymore with the storm stomp. So that's that's what's cool about the, about it is you can definitely play around with different uh, different weapons and try things out because I mean we're still only a, a week into the game and so trying things out is what I'm going for. I'm not trying to find out the best possible setup. I'm trying to f to find where is what and what does what. So I'm just trying to get a general idea as to what could be good for what and you know how weapons play like. Trying to get a feel for each class as well, but obviously some weapons are a little different. So yeah, and as far as the fashion, I've been getting a lot of people that asked about the fashion, like what is my fashion? Um, I love my fashion. I really like it. Like this is this is peak fashion right there. I just love it. With the little flappy uh, ragged skirt here on the armor. It's really beautiful. So the armor is the scaled armor altered, so no cape. Gauntlets. I mean gauntlets you can vary it vary it a little bit. Like I I'm definitely going to change the gauntlet once I get new ones cuz I like say the 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 hands on like night gauntlets and um, the scaled gauntlets, but uh, it's a bit too heavy for uh, for the level I'm currently at, and I'm sure we're gonna find prettier prettier ones. Uh, and anyway, we got the vulgar militia greaves. I like the little kneecaps on these. So the, these are uh, the armor pieces we got going. Uh, there's also the royal remains armor. That I, I like to wear as well. This actually gives you regen at low HP, so that's an evil looking armor too. So I like this armor as well. Look pretty cool. But uh, so far, I'd say my favorite fashion is definitely uh, our sick little uh, ill armor uh, setup. It looks like a real knight, and I love it. But yeah, that's a um, a quick rundown on how to you know make a PvP ready build when you're starting the game. So again, looking at the stat spread here, I would focus on going to 26 strength, 27, like around 27 vigor-ish. It's not a soft cap anymore, but it's still a good break point. Um, and then you don't really really need to put any point into intelligence. I forgot to say I started as, as Vagabond. And uh, you don't really need any points into mind and endurance, honestly, if you're going to play melee at lower level. Uh, just go for whatever requirement the weapons you want to use, uh, like, um, force you to have. And then for the future, uh, I'm going to keep leveling those up. And, uh, like right now, if I were to level up, uh, I would probably go a bit more into Vigor. And then slowly I would start leveling up Dexterity without leveling up Strength. I would keep Strength at 26 and I would go, uh, put Dexterity up to 39. So that would be my next step here. Um, depending on if there's a weapon I want to use, I've seen a weapon that has a 30 strength requirement, so I might put that at 30 right away. But right now, if I were to um, to keep leveling up, I would go for 39 vigor and 39 dexterity. Those would be the next points I the uh, I would stop at or I, I would invest points into. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, for this little quick guide. So I hope you new players out there get a better idea as to how to make a build and what is a decent stat spread. Again, this is for quality like builds. So what it what it mean what it means is basically a build where you can use every weapon. It's not exactly optimal for every weapon, but it still is going to give you a very competitive amount of damage. So yeah, this is uh, what we got going right now. So hope you enjoy it. Take care, everyone.